Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Reese and I'm back here with another video. Um, I'm actually here at Candyland Miami and I'm excited to make a candle. So let's just wait. And then everybody else that I didn't tell you where to go, just hang tight and once somebody circles up. Guys, this is the vessel that I chose. I wanted to choose this one just because it goes in my room. So, yeah. So cute. Mm -hmm. Where it says vessel name on your waiver, you can write Matt Gray. Matt Gray. Guys, I'm so excited. This is like my second outing for the day. So. Okay. While you're waiting, uh -huh. I'm gonna have you already did it. Perfect. Matt Gray. Okay. <laughs> and then I want to, and then I'm gonna take that for you. Okay. This one too, the card. You can have. Thank you. No problem. Go ahead and choose your fragrance. Okay, guys, I'm gonna choose my fragrance. This is vitamin C. I like this one. I like that one. I don't like that one. Mm. The Clementine really smells good. <laughs> so guys, I chose the Clementine method. Okay, Clementine method. So Alright guys, so now that we have made our choices, we're gonna go ahead and put our wicks into the candles. So what you wanna do? You have three wicks and a beaker. So just go ahead and grab one to start. And then you're gonna find the little colorful straw that you have on your tray as well. And once you have both things, go ahead and weave the wick through the straw, just like that. And that's gonna give you a better grip on the wick, more stability. And then once you have that done, go ahead and pull this paper off the bottom, and you'll have a little sticky wick on the bottom. So then, once you do that, go ahead and look over top of your vessel, and you should have three dots on the bottom of the vessel. So what you want to do is take the wick and stick it on any dot, push it down, and slide the straw off. I don't have any. No dots? No dots, right? If you don't have dots, please call me over. I'll dot it for you. It's just a trifle. Okay.
And once you have it on top of your scale, go ahead and wind it up about five times. Give it about five turns. And you guys don't want to touch that T button anymore. Once you start pouring in, the T button, it should not be pushed, otherwise your scale will Okay. Guys, I got it to exactly one ounce. <laughs> and then you want to grab your small metal pitcher, and you're going to stick it on top of your scale. Hit or miss. Okay, hit or miss. Like literally, I had it at. See now, it's like, this thing is playing tricks on me, guys. It keeps jumping from ten point ninety five to eleven oh five. That's okay. It's, it's such a small difference. That it really is. Okay. So much. Okay. Guys, the scale is playing tricks on me. Like, literally. I don't know what's going on, why it's doing that, but work with me here. Work with me. So grab your glass fragrance speaker and go ahead and do a cheers with the person that you're with. Cheers! Cheers to, to you guys. Camera. Cheers to you. Cheers to my camera. <laughs> cheers. And then you can go ahead and pour it right into your hot glass. So just pour right in. fun at Candleland Miami just being there and making a candle like it was very interesting actually and it was very easy guys like that's something that literally you can just buy at your own time and make at your own home but it was a nice experience it's very aesthetic very beautiful and I hope you loved it and I hope if you decide to visit Miami or if you're from Miami that you actually do it it's worth it and I'm going to be getting my candle tomorrow because unfortunately I cannot wait 45 minutes for it to dry. I'm so tired guys. So make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>